Note-taking apps are everywhere, and if you're an iPad user like me, you're probably sat there wondering if Apple Notes is actually worth your time at all when you have so many other options. Well, as somebody that's spent years working with apps like Notability, using things like Notion, and of course, Good Notes, and Apple Notes, obviously, I've got a few thoughts to share as to why I think Apple Notes could be a bit of the underdog. And if you like what you see, consider subscribing, stick around, we'd love to see you next time. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with what Apple Notes does best. It's free. So it's already there, and because of the ecosystem that it's part of, the Apple ecosystem, the most dominant ecosystem on the planet, you can switch from your iPhone, to your iPad, to your Mac, and boom, you've got your notes right there. So that's a massive tick in the Apple camp. If you want to quickly jot something down, simply swipe up on any of your devices and you can access the quick notes feature that again, saves to the cloud anywhere you need. Really, really simple, really powerful. And now Apple Notes supports tagging, collaborative notes, and even handwriting recognition. So the notes that you were taking that didn't really mean anything to you after you've written them, Tell you what, bit of AI, it's gonna start making a bit more sense of what you've written down. And what you can do on top of that is also search for your notes. Again, a really helpful feature when you're on the run. Apple Notes has also had a lot of upgrades. So we've just mentioned the AI stuff, but also the audio recordings, the side-by-side -side views, and general integrations for things like Math Notes make this a lot more functional than what it used to be, which was just very much a, to be honest, I just use it for to-do lists. The latest OS update from Apple even introduces the magic wand. Simply circle a hand-drawn image or highlight text and generative AI brings it to life. I was really surprised at how accurate it was, although I really have no idea when I'll actually use it. Comment below if you think you will. But is it better than competition? Well, I think to understand if it's better than the competition, I like to look at it through the very simple lens of how does it feel to actually write on your iPad? So we haven't got any fancy, you know, overlays here, we don't have your paper-like screen. We haven't got any of that, we're not sponsored yet, so we're not gonna be doing those. But does it feel native? Does it feel intuitive? And I don't think Apple Notes feels the best. What's great about Apple Notes and writing with it is, of course, that it is natively integrated with the Apple Pencil. You get access to the entire suite of capability that that pencil offers you, like barrel roll, like double clicking, such as uh, you to get to your eraser. It allows you to, of course, select many different styluses, rulers, and it's really, really diverse. That is second to none. That is the best. But actually writing and the feeling of the digital link coming out onto the page I think a couple of other apps do it better. I, I personally believe that Notability is the best feeling when it comes to actually writing on your iPad. There's just some, somehow they've integrated that technology in a way that just feels really, really natural. I think GoodNotes is equally as good as Notability. I'd also like to touch upon PDFs. So I love annotating my PDFs on my iPad and I've been using Notability to do that for, for years because I personally feel that it has the best combination of full screen PDF reading and the ability to overlay the Apple Pencil and just mark up the notes, you know, highlight certain features right in the margins, all that kind of stuff, all that really good stuff. You can do that really nicely on Notability. Apple Notes, the way they've integrated PDFs, uh, I, I, I still find it really clunky. It's not just, it's all part of a note. So you have to go into your note, open up your note, and it doesn't just sit there. Whereas if you go into Notability, it is itself an entire PDF which you open up. It's not just part of a note within a note. So that feeling of actually just picking up a piece of paper and annotating is much better in other apps than Apple. I've actually slowly transitioned away from Notability and that's because I'm a little bit worried about the future of my notes. Is this app gonna be around and supported for a really long time? I worry that the notes that I make will be lost in the ether one day. I'll never get them back. Whereas what I can trust with Apple Notes is it is backed by Apple, it is natively integrated by a huge corporation that makes a trillion dollars. These notes are gonna last and they're saved in an iCloud situation where I've already paid for that kind of storage. You know, with Notability, what I have to use is either a Dropbox um, or in my case, a Google Drive, which is slowly filling up with complicated notes. So Apple Notes, I can trust to be around for the long haul. Now, if you're into note-taking whatsoever, you know that folder design is so important with these applications. Now, Apple Notes is not the best 
but it has some pretty good features. So this is an example that I've set up. I've actually moved a lot of things around, so that's why it looks pretty empty. But I've got my things set up here. So I've got my professional, I've got my YouTube channel, my ideas, um, I have my general notes, and I can create new folders, add them here. Let's just call that new folder. Yeah. And then we can just drag that and stick that underneath. So you can create either this is a whole new folder or I can open up another folder and nest it within there. So that helps create the hierarchy. So what keeps me coming back to Apple Notes, honestly, and I'm sorry to say it's the Apple ecosystem. The fact that I can transfer my notes into iMessage just by asking Siri to do it. Siri, send a screen grab of this to me. I can share a shopping list. I can create a shared note with someone else with an iPhone, which by the way, is 60% of the world's population. So there's many people that you can share these notes with. You know, you can feel the ease of the interoperability when you take a picture that you've just drawn and transfer that through into say a keynote or into um, a, a, an app like Pages where you might be writing a document. You know, you can really feel that integration. And over time, I've, I've started to move into that ecosystem just because it, it allows me to do work slightly more quickly. Whereas before I felt like I was copy and pasting, taking screenshots, moving things over, and there's just not that, that speed response. When we're all working to really difficult deadlines, we need those little moments, those little edges that we can get. So yeah, I definitely feel that the ecosystem is a, is, is a, is a high level point there for the Apple Notes. I think if you're looking for really in-depth features and you know customization, you're gonna wanna go with something like GoodNotes. Like that is a note-taking application that has an obscene amount of customization. Like it's got tape that you can put over things, you can make things look beautiful. It's really geared towards students, notability the same. I find that if you're just looking for a note-taking device, something that is an application that will allow you to store your notes forever in multiple locations and have the future integrations of AI and take advantage of all the features and development, knowing they're gonna be around thanks to Apple, I think Apple Notes is actually that device and secretly, even though I don't like to admit it, I have actually transferred all of my note taking to Apple Notes. But what about you? Let me know in the comments what you use and why. I'm really interested to know. And if you like this video, please drop a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. And for everything else, tech, Apple, you name it, stay tuned to Future Simplified. We'll see you next time. We've got a ton of videos somewhere here that you can also see. I think it's down there now, it's a new thing. We'll see you next time on Future Simplified anyway. Thanks for watching, see you later.